Please take your Bibles and open to the book of Psalm. Tafadhali chukua Biblia yako fungua kitabu cha Zaburi. The very beloved Psalm that we like a lot here is chapter 20. Zaburi ambayo tunaipenda sana Zaburi 20. If you know we have read it it is it has not lost its value yet. Japo kuwa tumekwisha kuisoma hapo mbeleni baada haijapoteza thamani yake. This is the promises of God and our wish. Haya ni ahadi za Mungu. The psalm deals with God's provision throughout our lives. Zaburi hii yataja upaji wa Mungu maishani mwetu. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble the name of the God of Jacob defend thee Bwana kujibu kwa siku ya dhiki jina la Mungu wa Yakobo likuinue May he send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion Akupelekee msaada toka patakatifu pake na kukutegemeza toka sayuni And remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifices Azikumbuke sadaka zako zote na kuzitakabali dhabihu zako May he grant unto thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. Akujalie kwa kadri ya haja ya moyo wako na kuitimiza mashauri yako yote. And then we will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all your petitions. Kisha tutashangilia wokovu wako jina la Mungu wetu kwa jina la Mungu wetu tutaziweka bendera zetu Bwana timize matakwa yako yote. Now I know that the Lord saveth his anointed. Sasa najua kwamba Bwana muokoa masihi wake. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Atamjibu toka mbingu zake takatifu kwa matendo makuu ya mkono wake wa kuume. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. Wengine wanategemea magari, wengine wanategemea farasi. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Bali sisi tutakumbuka jina la Bwana Mungu wetu. They are brought down and they are fallen. Wao wameinama na kuanguka. But we are risen and we stand upright. Bali sisi tumeinuka na kusimama wima. Save our Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Tuokoe e Bwana, utuitikie si kutuitaye. And may every believer who had had this word read say amen. Na kila muamini ambaye amesikia neno hili likisomwa aseme amina. Hallelujah. Amen. Father now we thank you for our homes. Baba sasa tuwakushukuru kwa nyumba zetu. For our parents. Kwa ajili ya wazazi wetu. For our relatives. Kwa watu wa ukoo wetu. For our children. Kwa watoto wetu. For our siblings. Kwa waliozaliwa pamoja nasi. For our employers. Kwa waajiri wetu. For those who do something daily to make our lives worth. Kwa wale ambao wanachangia jambo fulani kila siku kufanya maisha yetu kuwa na maana. Na babo we thank you for the government. Zaidi ya yote tunakushukuru kwa serikali. The president. Rais and all the people who make the rules that govern the land. Na watu wote ambao wanatunga sheria ambao zinatawala nchi. Jesus. Yeah, yes. We keep acknowledging that you are Lord over Kenya. Tunaendelea kutambua kwamba wewe ni Bwana juu ya nchi ya Kenya. From border to border. Toka mpaka moja hadi nyingine. Let there be peace. Kuwe na amani. We thank you for the good weather. Tunakushukuru kwa hali ya anga iliyo njema. We thank you that there is no famine in the land. Tunakushukuru kwamba haku kuna njaa katika nchi hii. Remember those who are traveling on Kenya's roads today. Wakumbuke wanaosafiri kwa barabara za Kenya leo hii. Bring them safe back. Uwafikishe salama. We thank you. Tunakushukuru. We thank you. Tunakushukuru. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor. You are Lord. Utukufu. You are Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. You are Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. And we dedicate this service to you Lord. Na hii ibada tunaitwika kwako wewe. This is your service. Hii ni ibada yako. We glorify your name. Tunatukuza jina lako. Accept our offering. Kubali dhabihu zetu. Of praise. Za sifa. Accept our sacrifice. Kubali sadaka zetu. Of praise. Za sifa. Accept our songs. Kubali nyimbo zetu. Accept as we sing unto you. Kubali tunapokuimbia wewe. 
Has anyone here raised a voice? Wakati yeyote hapa anainua sauti. To say thank you Jesus. Kusema asante Yesu. Father hear such a one. Baba mtu kama huyo umsikie. And bless that soul. Na ubariki nafsi yake. That offers thanks. Ambayo inatoa shukrani. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Jesus. We take our hymns from our Quickly our bulletin in page 2 katika makaratasi ya matangazo kurasa wa 2. A beloved hymn leaning on everlasting arms. Wimbo ambao tunapenda kuegemea mikono ya milele. This is our prayer. Hili ni ombi letu. And our testimony. Tena ushuhuda wetu. Those of you who know it off head, wale kati yenu mwaweza kuimba bila kusoma, pronounce every word. Tamka kila neno. Those of you who are learning it, wale ambao mnajifunza, try to speak every word. Jaribu kuzungumza kutaja kila neno. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Amen. Oh, 
At City Hall. City Hall. We thank you so much for those that you have drawn there. We know that many lives have been changed. And Lord, as a result, the testimony has gone forth. And we say this is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our eyes. Lord, keep drawing them to yourself. And help us to be humble, to be there, to be used of you. So far, Lord, you have done wonders. We say Ebenezer. You have brought us this far. This is your will, Lord. Now, Father, every day from tomorrow up to Friday, we dedicate to your kingdom. Bring the people on Thursday evening. We thank you for the increase of disciples. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. I have good report. Ninayo habari njema. You prayed. Muliomba. You gave. Mkatoa. And we went. Nasi tukaenda. To Moise Bridge. Pale mtawa Moise Bridge. Nia Kitale. Karibu na mji wa Kitale. We had over 200 pastors. Tukawana wachungaji zaidi ya miambili. Being taught the apostolic doctrine. Wakifunzo wa mafunzo ya kitume. I've never seen such a hunger. Like I saw there. And God gave us grace. To give the word. Now this ministry has gone far and deeper. That man who used to be a police officer. Who came here to Chatter Hall and, to, and then came here. Ambaya likuja ukumbi wa chata hall kisha kaja hapa. The bishop. Yule askofu. Who had gone to politics. Ambaya likuwa meingilia siyasa. For five years he was under condemnation. Kwa miaka mitano akawa chini ya ukumu. No one would reach him. Hakuna ngeweza kumfikia. Being so high. Akiwa yuko juu sana. Then going so low. Tena kushuka chini sana. And he came to chata hall. Akaja ukumbi wa chata hall. No one preached to him. 
Hakuna aliyemhubiria. No one pointed a finger. Hakuna aliyemwelekeza kidole. Jesus touched him. Yesu alimgusa. Then he said he's not going back until he comes to this church. Kisha akasema harudi kabla ya kuja kanisani hapa. He was mightily blessed. Akabarikiwa kwa uku sana. He came all the way from Bungoma to Moyes Bridge just A- to testify what God has done. Alitoka umbali wa Bungoma akaja Kitale kusema tu kile Mungu alikuwa amemtendea. And as he was talking everybody was crying because they knew him in politics. Na alipokuwa akizungumza watu walikuwa nalia kwa sababu walimjua kwenye ulingo wa siasa. I want to tell you to pray for Pastor Sano. Nataka kuambia mumuombe mchungaji Osano. The work he did there was great. Kazi aliyotenda pale ni kubwa. This morning he speaking in one of the churches. Asubuhi leo anazungumza kwa moja ya makanisa mle. His health is a must. Afya yake ni lazima. I want you to hear this. Nataka msikie hili. We never came back with a debt one shilling. Hatukurudi na deni hata ya shilingi moja. Now we full of it. God gave us all the money. Mungu akatupa pesa za kutosha. In that meeting I was able to raise 16000 shillings in 5 minutes. Katika mkutano ule nikaweza kupata shilingi 1016 kwa dakika 5. And thus the the offerings they had been giving never came to over 1000. Na matoleo waliokuwa wakitoa hayakufika hata 1000. But after hearing the word. Lakini baada ya kusikia neno. 16400. 1016 In very short time kwa muda mfupi sana and god gave me the grace naye mungu akanipa neema to give all the money to four uh, to four widows kuzipa kuwapa zile pesa wajane wanne so that they can care for the children ili wawashughulikie watoto wao there was tears everywhere machozi yakaja kote they have never seen it happen like that hawajawahi kuona matendo kama hayo instead of putting that money in my pocket badala ya kuweka zile pesa mfukoni mwangu the widows came crying they couldn't believe they thought we were mocking them wajane wakadhani kwamba tunawachezea wakaja wakilia but when i put the money in their hands lakini nilipowapa pesa mikononi mwao each one of them 4400 kila mmoja wao 1400 4100 they couldn't believe their eyes hawakuweza kuamini macho yao they just cried wakalia and the people joined them in crying watu nao wakaungana nao kwa kulia that man the pol- former policeman poma politician when i was preaching he was dancing yule mtu ambaye alikuwa ni afisa wa polisi akawa mwanasiasa nilipokuwa nikihubiri alikuwa akicheza and he didn't care who was looking he just came there to hear the word he didn't care na, if you join him or not na hakujali waliokuwa namwangalia wala kumkosoa hakujali kabisa so i was preaching while dancing with him kwa hivyo nilikuwa huku nikihubiri nikicheza pamoja naye i wish some of you were there some of you stiff back Natamani wengine wenu ambao mmekauka mngelikuwa pale. I wish you saw me dancing behind him. Natamani mngeliona nikicheza nyuma yake. It was heaven on earth. Ilikuwa mbingu duniani. By God's grace I flew back. Kwa neema ya Mungu nikaruka kwa ndege nikarudi. And I am here today. Na niko hapa leo. We have not rested even one hour. Hatujapumzika hata dakika. We have just been going and going and going. Tumekuwa tukiendelea kwa kuendelea. Bishop Charles Marita of Nakuru. Askofu Charles Marita wa Nakuru was there since Tuesday. Alikuwa kule tangu Jumanne. He was teaching all the way until I arrived on Friday. Alikuwa anafunza hadi Jumaa nilipofika. He brought a mzungu an American there. Akaleta muamerikani pale. And the American could not sit on his chair as I was teaching. Na yule muamerikani angeweza kuketi kwenye kiti nilipokuwa nikifunza. He just stood all the time. Wakati wote akawa amesimama. He stood came forward and clapped and went back to sit. Akasimama akaja mbele akapiga makofi akarudi nyuma. He cried tears. Akatoa machozi. God was there. Mungu alikuwa kule. The hunger has been met. Hitaji limekutikana. Lime Keep praying please. Endelea kuomba tafadhali. The next meeting is Kitale. Mkutano unaofuata utakuwa mji wa Kitale. Kitale is a multi-ethnic town. Kitale ni mji ulio na makabila yote. It's not a Luya town as we think. Sio mji wa Waluya kama vile tunafikiria. In fact the Luyas are very few. Kama kwa hakika Waluya pale ni wachache. That's the truth. Huo ndio ukweli. So I want you to hear when I'm going to Kitale come with me. Kwa hivyo nataka msikize wakati nakuja naenda Kitale mje nami. I want you to come with me with your prayer. Nataka mje nami na maombi yenu. And with your giving. Pamoja na matoleo yenu. Next is Bungoma. Mkutano unaofuatia utakuwa mji wa Bungoma. I am still listening to them. 
Bado nawasikiliza. Believe God with me. Amini Mungu pamoja nami. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. From tomorrow. Kutoka kesho. City Hall. Ukumbi wa City Hall. Don't get late. Usichelewe. Don't be left behind in what God is doing now. Usiachwe nyuma kwa matendo ya Mungu sasa. Jehovah is not obligated to repeat anything. Mungu hana jukumu la kurudia chochote. This chance don't allow it to pass you. Nafasi hii usikubali kupite. It is restoration time. Ni wakati wa urejesho. God is restoring life. Mungu anarejesha maisha. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are here for the first time, kama uko hapa mara ya kwanza, make this your home church. Fanya hii kuwa kanisa lako. Although we have no place to write your name, ingawaje hatuna mahali pa kuorodhesha jina lako. If it's written in heaven, that's good enough for me. Kama jina lako limeandikwa mbinguni hiyo yatosha. But the only way is to keep coming. Njia ya pekee ni kuendelea kuja. And to keep growing. Na kuendelea kukua. Praise the Lord. Amina. I want also to give thanks to God. Nataka pia kumpa Mungu shukurani for the services of the Reverend Mlatia. Kwa huduma za kasisi Mlatia. Sometimes we don't know. Wakati mwingine hatujui. And we take things for granted. Na tunachukua mambo kwa mzaha. Men like this are not available anywhere anymore. Watu wa aina hii hawapatikani tena popote pale. We have charlatans you know the tunao wafanyi biashara yes and this man has got the heart of humans in his heart huyo mtu ana mioyo ya binadamu moyoni mwake as he teaches here and i hear you shout anapofunza hapa na nasikia mkipiga kelele i know we are growing najua watu wakua i know we are growing najua watu wakua God has supplied his needs. Mungu amempa mahitaji yake. So far, kufikia hapa. And he will continue to do it. Na ataendelea kufanya hivyo. So keep praying for him. Kwa hivyo endelee ni kumwombea. The Lord bless you people. Bwana wabariki yenyu watu. Amen and amen. amen. Now please to stand. Tafadhali simameni. Asante bwana. I would like us to do something here. Ningependa tufanye jambo hapa. Prayer. Maombi. Of unity. Maombi ya umoja for our country. Kwa ajili ya taifa letu. God is speaking to me. Pray for Kenya. Mungu ananizungumzia akiniambia niombe Kenya. People are afraid. Watu wanaogopa because of the coming elections. Kwa sababu ya uchaguzi ujao. Join hands left and right. Unganeni mikono kushoto kulia. As a sign of agreement. Kama ishara ya kukubaliana. If two of you shall agree. Kama wawili wenu watakubaliana. On earth. Ulimwenguni. Touching anything. Kugusa chochote. Heaven will do it. Mbingu nayo itatenda. Father we join our hands. Baba tuungana mikono yetu. In a symbol of unity. Kwa ishara ya umoja. Praying for our land. Tukiombea nchi yetu. Kenya. Kenya. The fear. Uoga. And all these uncertainty na mambo yote yasiyojulikana rule over kenya lord tawala juu ya kenya baba the coming elections uchaguzi ujao the spirit of murder that wants to spill blood roho wa uwaji ambao unataka kumwagika damu we come against it tuaje kinyume chake in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu we come against the spirit of murder tuaje kinyume cha roho wa uwaji in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu And we pray that there will be peaceful elections. Na tuwaomba kwamba kutakuwa na uchaguzi wenye amani. Control all of the mouth of the politicians. Baba endesha vinywa vya wanasiasa. And Jesus, na Yesu, let your spirit be felt over Kenya. Aja roho wako ukakuwa kila mahali Kenya. We thank you so far. Tuwakushukuru hadi sasa. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Asante Yesu. Let us sing a prayer. Tuimbe ombi. We sing a prayer. Tuimbe ombi. Onge anami Yesu. Onge anami Yesu. Onge
the children go to their class wakati watoto wanaenda kwa darasa lao i want to take your bibles in your hands nataka ushike biblia mkononi mwako we read today's scripture for the message tusome andiko ya leo kwa ajili ya ujumbe from second timothy waraka wa pili wa timotheo chapter 1 and verse 12 mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 12 As the children go to their class please watoto wakienda darasani lao tafadhali for which cause i also suffer these things kwa sababu hiyo nimepatikana na mateso haya nevertheless i am not ashamed wala sitahayari because i know whom i have believed kwa maana namjua yeye niliyemwamini And I'm persuaded na kusadikia kwamba that he is able to keep aweza kukilinda that which I have committed unto him against that day kile nilichokiweka amana kwake hata siku ile please be seated tafadhali ketini two announcements matangazo mawili We want to give the chance to the members of this congregation. Tuwataka tuwape nafasi waumini katika kusanyiko hili to find a place in our Bible school. Kupata mahali katika chuo chetu cha Biblia. Please if you are interested in studying the Bible. Kama unapendezwa kujifunza Biblia as a student kama mwanafunzi and you have not registered or enrolled. Na haujajiandikisha bado. Please see Pastor Nyawire after this meeting. Tafadhali muone mchungaji Nyawire baada ya ibada hii. 
We want to give you the first chance. Tutataka kukupa wewe nafasi ya kwanza. Another announcement I have. Tangazo lingine nililo nalo. Is that Peter Itumo has just come from Burundi? Kwamba Peter Itumo amerejea tu toka nchi ya Burundi. This pastor, my assistant here. Huyu mchungaji msaidizi wangu hapa. He went to Burundi. Alienda Burundi. And he has come back safe. Akarudi salama. The world has become a village. Ulimwengu umekuwa kama kijiji. You can just go to another country and come back and no one notices. Unaweza ondoka uende nchi nyingine urejee na pasijue yoyote. There is a possibility of us going to Burundi to preach. Kuna uwezekano wetu sisi kwenda nchi ya Burundi kuhubiri. He is going kwenda kwake has been the result of being called from here. Imekuwa ni tokeo letu sisi kuitwa toka hapa. We will keep you informed. Tutaendelea kuwapasha. Praise the Lord. Amen. Also I would like to say pia ningependa kusema that our magazine Revival Digest has become a source of inspiration. Jarida letu la Revival limefanyika chanzo cha himizo. Many people are being blessed through that magazine. Watu wengi wanabarikiwa kupitia jarida hili. Two weeks from now Majuma mawili tangu leo Is it two weeks or one week? Two weeks from now Majuma mawili tangu leo We have issue number five ready Tutakuwa na jarida la tano likiwa tayari I would like each one of you to spare 100 shillings only Ningependa kila mmoja wenu wa weke kando shilingi miyamoja pike yake Skip this coming Sunday Acha jumapili ijayo But the other one Jumapili na yofuatia Please Tafadhali This church must have a copy each. Kanisa hili lazima liwe na jarida kila mmoja. And if you have no money at all, na kama kabisa kabisa hauna pesa. Tutafanya mchango. Amen. If you have no money, hundred shillings can't defeat us. Kama hauna pesa shilingi 100 haitatushinda. Because I want you to read. Kwa sababu nataka usome. There are articles there. The kuna, teachings. Kuna habari pale, mafunzo. Preachers are actually taking revival digest and preaching word by word. Kwa hakika wahubiri wanachukua lile jarida na kuhubiri toka pale neno kwa neno. And their people are being blessed. Watu wao nao wanabarikiwa. You are so privileged. Don't take it for granted. Nyenye mmebarikiwa sana, msichukue kwa mzaha. These things are not everywhere. Mambo haya hayako kila mahali. A Sunday from the coming one. Jumapili inayofuata ijayo. Make sure. Hakikisha. You have one revival digest here. Una, unapata jarida moja hapa la revival digest. Don't sell it at city hall before we sell it here. Msiuze kule city hall kabla hatujauza hapa. On the 1st of September. Tarehe moja mwezi wa 9. Saturday. Jumamosi ijayo. Is it this one coming one? Jumamosi ya wiki hii. We will be at Chatter Hall. Tutakuwa kwenye ukumbi wa Chatter Hall. For our monthly rally kwa mkutano wetu wa kila mwezi Don't miss that one Usikose mkutano huo It is restoration ni urejesho Praise the Lord Amen We have these handbills Tunavyo vikaratasi hivi vya matangazo Take many Chukua nyingi And be generous Na uwe mkarimu In the matatu Kwenye matatu Give your neighbor Ziga, ga, 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 wagawie watu in the office ofisini give you a neighbor gawa even at the marketplace hata sokoni a supermarket kwenye maduka give you a friend wape marafiki zako okay be generous kuwa mkarimu do the work of the king fanya kazi ya mfalme i want to make this order nataka kutoa amri hii don't leave this bulletin on your chair karatasi hii ya matangazo usiiwache kwenye kiti you must go with it nenda nayo the apostle Paul is saying Mtume Paulo anasema My son Timothy Mwanangu Timotheo You see how I am in trouble Waona jinsi nilivo kwenye shida Jails Gereza Beatings Kupigwa Criticisms Kukosolewa 
like an evil doer kama mtenda maovu but hear this lakini sikia haya i am not ashamed mimi sioni haya i am being left behind na achwa nyuma i'm being shunned mimi nabaguliwa i'm not ashamed sioni haya people look at you watu wanakuangalia wewe and you can't laugh with their jokes na uwezi kucheka kwa maneno yao and they make you feel lonely na wanakufanya ujisikie una upweke don't be ashamed usione haya maybe your parents don't like you anymore yawezekana wazazi wako hawakutaki tena because you can't do what they want you to do kwa sababu huwezi kutenda wanaotaka utende there's no cause to be ashamed hakuna sababu ya kuona haya because you know whom you have believed kwa sababu wamjua uliyemwamini therefore knowing christ kwa hivyo kumjua kristo can cause you a lot of damage yawezekana ikakuletea shida nyingi knowing christ kumjua kristo can make you become so lonely yawezekana ikakufanya ukue wa upweke sana knowing christ kumjua kristo can make you miss opportunities yawezekana ikufanye ukose nafasi there is one thing that they will never take away from you kuna kitu kimoja ambacho hawawezi kukuchukua kutoka kwako the assurance of life hakikisho ya maisha knowing christ kumjua kristo is the center of all beliefs ndio chanzo cha kuamini kote this man is testifying huyu mtu anatoa ushuhuda look at his beginning angalia mwanzo wake when jesus met him wakati yesu alipokutana naye no one preached to him hakuna aliyemhubiria he was on his way to persecute those who believed in jesus alikuwa njiani kwenda kuwatesa wanaomwamini yesu then jesus confronted him basi yesu kakabiliana naye as he fell to the ground alipoanguka chini blind akiwa kipofu he had a voice alisikia sauti calling his name ikiita jina lake so sauli why do you persecute me mbona wanitesa then i want you to examine this question he asked basi nataka uchunguze swali hili aliloauliza who are you lord je wewe ni nani bwana now he is saying sasa anasema I know whom I have believed. Najua yule niliyemwamini. He asked a question at the beginning. Akauliza swali pale mwanzoni. Now he is giving us the answer. Sasa anatupa jawabu. Who are you Lord? Je, wewe ni nani Bwana? He heard I am Jesus. Akasikia mimi ni Yesu. Think of it my friends. Hebu fikiria rafiki zangu. This is the question that has been asked through the centuries he ndilo swali ambalo limeulizwa kupitia karne not who was jesus sio yesu alikuwa ni nani jesus was never yesu hakuwahi kuwa who are you wewe ni nani now sasa hivi sante ba not who are you sio wewe ulikuwa ni nani Gandhi was Gandhi alikuwa Muhammad was Muhammad alikuwa the big people were wakubwa walikuwa Abraham was Ibrahim wakawa Who are you Je wewe ni nani Before Abraham was Kabla Ibrahim kuwa I am Mimi niko But who are you Lakini wewe ni nani Hallelujah Amina <laughs> Sante Yesu He prayed like this. Akaomba hivi. Father, Baba, I'm praying for them. Nawaombea hawa that they may know you. Kwamba wakaweza kukujua. And Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Na Yesu Kristo uliyemtuma. To know Jesus. Kumjua Yesu. Is life eternal. Ni maisha ya umilele. Not to believe. Sio kuamini. But to know. Lakini kumjua. Yes Lord. I know whom I have believed. Najua niliyemwamini. There is a possibility of you knowing. 
Kuna uwezekano wako wewe kujua. You alone. Wewe peke yako. Not in cooperation with another. Sio kwa kuungana na mwingine. There is a knowing that your father can never transmit to you. Kuna kujua ambako baba yako hawezi akakuelezea wewe. There is a knowing that you can never inherit. Kuna kujua ambako uwezi ukaridhi. There is a knowing that you can never acquire. Kuna kujua ambako uwezi ukapata. There is a knowing that you cannot achieve. Kuna kujua ambako uwezi ukahitimu. Because this knowing kwa sababu huku kujua does not come by your hard work. Hakuji kwa bidii yako mwenyewe. It is he who starts it. Ni yeye ambaye uianza yeye. Paul did not look for the lord paulo hakumtafuta the yes. lord looked for him bwana akamtafuta yeye you did not choose me wewe haukunichagua mimi but i chose you lakini mimi nilikuchagua wewe This is not our doing. Hiyo kazi yetu. This is his doing. Hii ni kazi yake yeye. But our knowing him lakini kumjua kwetu sisi depends on how hungry we are. Yategemea jinsi tulivyoona njaa. I know whom I have believed. Namjua niliyemwamini. Look at Jesus. Hebu mtazame Yesu. He couldn't fit with the Jews. Hakuweza kutoshea kwa Wayahudi. He couldn't fit with the Greeks. Hakuweza kutoshea na Wayunani. Even the day he was being judged and condemned. Hata siku aliyokuwa akihukumiwa, his judge, yule hakimu wake, the Roman governor, yule gavana mrumi, locked the door. Alifunga mlango. He called him inside. Akamuita ndani. He said, akasema, who are you? Je, wewe ni nani? Where, where do you come from? Watoka wapi wewe? Think of it, my friends. Hebu fikiria rafiki zangu. After examining him, baada ya kumchunguza, a prisoner, yule mfungwa, and the judge goes to beg him. Na yule hakimu anaenda kumbembeleza to tell him who he is. Kumwambia yeye ni nani? Something is happening here. Kuna jambo latendeka hapa. If we have the answer, kama tunayo jawabu, then we have the answer to life basi tunao jawabu ya maisha if we know who jesus is kama tunajua yesu ni nani we have the answer to life tunalo jawabu la uhai first kwanza he is the owner of all life yeye ndiye mwenye uhai wote not just humans sio binadamu peke yake animals wanyama birds ndege fish samaki insects wadudu plantations mimea flowers maua he gives them color in the morning ana anazipa rangi asubuhi the, the sun rises and the colors go jua linainuka rangi inaisha and tomorrow morning there is more color in store for the flowers coming na kesho asubuhi kuna rangi zaidi ya maua yanayochipuka he is the owner yeye ndiye mwenyewe All these insects hawa wadudu wote they eat from him zala toka kwake all the birds of the air ndege zote angani they eat from him zala toka mikono yake he gives you breath yeye anakupa uhai he is the owner of life ndiye anayemiliki uhai Who are you Lord? Je wewe ni nani bwana? Let him answer you. Acha yeye mwenyewe akujibu. I am the life. Mimi ndiye uhai. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, even the life of the sinners. Hata maisha ya wenye dhambi, he is the one who has allowed them. Ni yeye aliyewaruhusu. He is the owner of your life. Yeye ndiye mwenye maisha yako. Don't begin to want to know other things. Usitake kujaribu kujua mambo mengine. Begin from life. Anza kutoka kwa uhai. Your breath. Pumzi yako. Your existence. Kuishi kwako. Just waking up in the morning. Kuamka tu asubuhi. Is not normal. Sio kawaida. It's miraculous. Ni muujiza. To see the sun rise. Kuona jua likichomoka. And the sun go down. Na jua likitua. And you are still here. Na bado uko hapa. Don't take the for granted. Usichukue kwa mzaha. Is the owner of life who allowed you. Ni mwenye uhai aliyekuruhusu wewe. You owe him thanks. Wewe una deni lake la shukurani. 
You owe him thanks. Una deni lake la shukurani. Sante bwana. food wala chakula to sustain you kuendelea kuishi but food can sustain a body without life lakini chakula hakiwezi kuendesha mwili usio na uhai you drink water wanywa maji to keep the thirst away kuondoa kiu but the thirst is there because you have life lakini kiu kiko kwa sababu uko hai begin from life anza kutoka kwa uhai he said akasema the body Mwili is more expensive than clothing. Ni wagarama kuu kuliko mavazi. So don't look for clothing. Kwa hivyo usiangalie mavazi. He said, anasema, life, maisha is better than food. Ni bora kuliko chakula. So don't look for food. Kwa hivyo usiangalie, utafute chakula. First, kwanza, seek ye the kingdom of God. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu. And his Mungu. Na ukamilifu wake. And all na haya mambo mengine yote Who is he? Je, yeye ni nani? Secondly. La pili. He is Alpha. Yeye ndiye mwanzo. He is Omega. Yeye ndiye mwisho. All of us have a beginning. Sote tunao mwanzo. Mine began May 5, 1937. Mwanzo wangu ukaanza May 5, mwaka wa 57. And everybody has an ending. Na kila mtu anao mwisho wake. But as far as I'm concerned, lakini jinsi mimi najua, I have arrived where I was going. Nimefika nilikokuwa nikienda. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in Jesus, kwa sababu ndani ya Yesu, no going any further. Hakuna kwenda zaidi. You have a Umefika. Sante bwana. Our destiny is not death. Safari yetu sio kifo. Our destiny is not the grave. Mwisho wetu sio kaburi. We have arrived where we are going. Tumefika tulikokuwa tukienda. He is the beginning. Yeye ndiye mwanzo. He is the end. Tena ndiye mwisho. No more going any further. Hakuna tena kuendelea. Do you see why I am not ashamed? Je, unaona ni kwa nini? I have arrived. Nimefika. Sante bwana. Hallelujah. Who is he? Je, yeye ni nani? Heaven, mbingu and earth, na dunia adore him. Zamuabudu. Everything in heaven, kila kitu mbinguni. Every life in heaven, uhai wote mbinguni. Bow to him. Every knee in heaven bows to him. Every creature in the sea bow to him. Every creature on earth bow to him. I have believed. Namjua nilie muamini. Sante bwana. Not I know what I believe. Sio kwamba najua nilichoamini. I know somebody. Namjua mtu and I am known by him. Naye pia ananijua mimi. Whom to know? Ambaye kumjua yeye. Is eternal life. Ni maisha ya milele. Yeye ni nani? Sante bwana. Now look at it like this. Sasa hebu itazame hivi. Lord, I want to know you. Bwana nataka kukujua. But I can't know you by my own achievement. Lakini siwezi kukujua kwa vitu nilivyopata mwenyewe. Reveal yourself to me. Jidhihirishe mwenyewe kwangu. Lord Jesus I may not know much Bwana Yesu yawezekana nisijue mengi but give me just a glimpse of you lakini nipe kidokezo tu chako wewe just a glimpse kidokezo tu not much sio sana i am not poor 
Mimi sio Paulo. I'm not Matthew. Mimi sio Mathayo. I'm nyokabi here. Mimi hapa ni nyokabi. Lord, I am nobody in on earth. Bwana mimi sio mtu wa maana ulimwenguni. But because of you. Lakini sababu yako wewe. You chose me. Ulinichagua mimi. Now, sasa reveal yourself to me. Jidhihirishe kwangu. Even just a glimpse. Hata kwa kidokezo kidogo tu. Just a glimpse. Kidogo tu. Not much. Sio sana. Not so that I may become a preacher no. Sio ili kwamba niwe mhubiri hapana. No 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 no. Hapana. That I may know whom I have believed. Ili kwamba niweze kujua niliyemwamini. I want to know you. Nataka nikujue wewe. On a special level. Katika hali maalum. I want to know you. Nataka nikujue wewe. On my own level. Kwa katika kiwango changu. Not like Joe Kayo. Sio kama Joe Kayo. But like me. Lakini kama mimi. Lord, Bwana, reveal yourself to me. Jidhihirishe kwangu mimi in a very special way. Kwa njia maalum sana. Lord, Bwana, I don't have a lot of spiritual understanding. Sina kuelewa kwa kiroho sana. But I believe you. Lakini nakuamini wewe. So reveal yourself to me. Kwa hivyo jidhihirishe kwangu in a manner I can understand you. Kwa njia ambayo naweza nikakuelewa wewe. Not too big. Sio kwa hali kubwa. I am the lowest. Hapana mimi ndiye mdogo. But Lord can you come so low where I am? Lakini je Bwana waweza kuja chini unifikie? If you can. Kama waweza. Then Lord I am here. Basi Bwana niko hapa. Reveal yourself to me dijirishe kwangu even in a small way hata kwa njia ndogo i don't just want to believe with an intellect sitaki tu kuamini na busa kwa kwa akili i want a revelation nataka ufunuo because i can't argue it out kwa sababu siwezi nikabishana i don't have the vocabulary to defend myself sina maneno ya kujitetea but i want to know you lakini nataka nikujue wewe oh thank you lord Sante jesus yes, bwana asante bwana When it comes to you wakati na kujia wewe you wewe when it comes to you wakati na kufikia wewe you alone wewe peke yako not someone else sio na mtu mwingine you alone wewe peke yako there is no one like you hakuna mwingine kama wewe there is no one better hakuna aliye bora zaidi there is no one below you hakuna aliye chini yako there is no one ahead of you hakuna aliye juu yako when it comes to you yourself ikija ni kwako wewe mwenyewe You can know him. Yawezekana ukamjua. As per the capacity he allows you to know him. Kulingana na kiwango anachokuruhusu wewe kumjua. Not as deep as others. Sio kwa undani kama wengine. But as you yourself. Lakini kama wewe mwenyewe. Saints, wateule. Hear this. Sikia haya. We look for strength Tunatafuta nguvu through prayer kupitia maombi We look for strength Tunatafuta nguvu through fasting kupitia kufunga We look for strength Tunatafuta nguvu through things like kesha kupitia vitu kama mkesha But I have a prophetic word for you Lakini nina neno la kinabii kwako wewe The people who know their God Watu wanaejua Mungu wao They shall be strong Watakuwa wenye nguvu Amina Sante Yesu. The people who know their God. Wale wanaomjua Mungu wao. They shall be strong. Watakuwa wenye nguvu. Can God be known? Je, Mungu aweza kujulikana? Yes. Ndio. How much? Kwa kiwango gani? With the capacity that you ask him to. Kulingana na kiwango wewe utakachomuuliza yeye. Can Jesus be known? Je, Yesu aweza kuonekana? Yes. Ndio. How? Kwa njia gani? How much? Kwa kiwango gani? As per capacity of your need. Kulingana na hitaji lako wewe. Asante Yesu. This Indian, huyu Muhindi, Muslim, Muislamu, Aga Khan's people, watu wa yule Aga Khan who called me a black jew 
ambao unaita mimi Myahudi mweusi. They don't believe I'm an African. They think I'm a Jew. Hawaamini kwamba mimi ni Mwafrika wanasema mimi ni Myahudi. Who was born an African by mistake. Ambaye akazaliwa mweusi kwa makosa. He tells me Ananiambia Dr. Kayo, Dr. Kayo. Come let me tell you. Njo nikwambie. The doctors told me two weeks ago I have cancer of the ear. Majuma mawili madaktari wakaniambia ninayo saratani ya masikio. I must make my house in order. Niandae nyumba yangu. At midnight, usiku wa manane, I locked myself my study room. Nikajifungia kwenye chumba changu cha usomi. And I looked around. Na nikatazama huko. And I wanted to be honest with your Jesus. Na nikataka kuwa wazi na Yesu wako. I stood there. Nikasema mapale. I told him Jesus. Nikamwambia Yesu. I'm not your worshipper. Mimi si kuabudu wewe. But I can't doubt your love for humanity. Lakini sina shaka ya upendo yako kwa binadamu. And since you love people, na kwa sababu wawapenda watu, on the basis of your love, kwa ajili ya upendo wako, add me more years. Niongeze miaka ya kuishi. Now Dr. Kayo, sasa Dr. Kayo, I'm in trouble. Niko kwenye shida. Because I can't prove to my doctors how I was healed. Kwa sababu siwezi nikawaambia madaktari wangu jinsi nilivyoponywa. And remember I'm a Muslim. Ukumbuke mimi ni Muislamu. You know what I mean? I said, yes mzee I know what you mean. Unajua maana yake? Ndio najua. I walked from that shop. Nikatoka kwenye ile duka. Crying. Nikilia mach- nikitokwa na machozi. Tears. Machozi. Why? Kwa nini? How does he jump us who believe in him? Je, anawezaje kuturuka sisi ambao tunamwamini yeye? And go to heal a Muslim. Aende akamponye Muislamu. Not a headache. Sio kichwa, sio kumwa na kichwa. Cancer. Saratani. Now he is in trouble. Sasa yuna aku kwenye shida. The doctors want me to t- not one many to t- from Aga Khan University Hospital to tell them who healed me or how I got healed. And if I tell it, tell them it's Jesus, doctor you know what trouble I am in. Sasa madaktari kule kwa hospitali ya Aga Khan wanataka niwaambie vile nilipata uponyaji na nikiwaambia ni Yesu unaelewa maana yake. I told him I know what problems you are in. Nikamwambia najua shida yako. Some of you don't know. Wengine wenu hamjui. His death can be arranged. Akisema kwamba aliponywa na Yesu, kifo chake kitapangwa. Do you understand? Did you get Je, umepata? Did you understand that? Umeelewa? Now, sasa I said Jesus. Nikasema Yesu. I was walking towards city hall, my legs became so heavy. Nilikuwa naenda city hall, miguu yangu ikaisha nguvu. I said Jesus. Nikasema Yesu. You bypass your believers. Wewe unawapita waumini wako. And you go to heal. Na unaenda kuoponya hawa jamaa. And he told me. Naye akaniambia learn of me. Jifunze toka kwangu. I said learn of you Lord what? Kasema nijifunze nini bwana? My character tabia yangu whom i am mimi nilivyo i decide to do what i want to do mimi nachagua kufanya kile nimependa kufanya i know the hearts of men najua mioyo ya binadamu i went to a corner nikaenda kwenye kona fulani i wiped my tears nikapanguza machozi yangu before i see people at the city hall kabla ya kukutana na watu city hall he did that Alifanya vile to teach me a lesson. Kunifunza mimi jambo. He is Lord of all. Yeye ni bwana wa wote. Let us shout you are Lord. Na tuseme wewe ni bwana. What you have said, ulichosema, heaven belongs to you. Mbingu ni yako. Earth belongs to you. Ulimwengu nao ni wako. All the wealth of the universe belong to you. Utajiri wote wa ulimwengu ni wako. Hallelujah. 
Thank you Jesus. He showed me. Akanionyesha. I'm becoming fat. My neck is becoming fat. I am sovereign. Mimi ni mtawala. Aha. I can say come to heaven. Naweza nikasema njoo mbinguni. Just now. Sasa hivi. And your breath leaves you. Nayo pumzi yako inakuacha. Did you hear that? Umesikia hiyo? Yes sir. I can say Naweza kusema stay there. Ka pale. Because I need you. Kwa sababu nakuhitaji. And you will stay. Nawe utakaa. He was telling me Alikuwa ananiambia I own you. Wewe ni wangu. Kayo I own you. Kayo wewe ni wangu. I humbled myself. Nikajinyenyekesha. I repented. Nikatubu. When people were worshiping at City Hall, Obed was singing, I was repenting. Watu walipokuwa kimba pale City Hall mimi nilikuwa natubu. I am owned. Mimi nimemilikiwa. I am not my own property. Mimi si mali yangu mwenyewe. I belong to somebody. Mimi ni wa mtu. God did that to show. why did that India not go to the reverends and and uh, archbishops to tell them Mbona huyu muindi hakuenda kwa wakubwa wa madini kuambia Because he had not seen Jesus in them Kwa sababu hakuona Yesu ndani yao He saw Jesus in me Alimuona Yesu ndani yangu Now sasa if a non Christian can see Jesus in me kama mtu asiye mkristo anaweza kumuona Yesu ndani yangu it is up to me now ni juu yangu sasa mimi to discover more of him kujua kumjua zaidi and the more i live na zaidi napoishi the more i know of him zaidi napojua kumhusu yeye i can say i am not ashamed naweza kusema sioni haya i am ashamed where i was born naonea haya nilikozaliwa i am ashamed of the village where i was born naonea haya kijiji nilichozaliwa i am even ashamed because of the tribe where i was born pia naona haya kwa kabila niliyozaliwa but i am not ashamed lakini sioni haya i am not ashamed sioni haya because i'm a christian kwa sababu mimi ni mkristo because i know kwa sababu najua whom i have believed yule niliyemwamini asante bwana when i think of it this morning i was singing what am i dear god we serve nipokuwa naifikiria hii asubuhi what am i dear god we serve kaimba wimbo angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what am i dear god we serve What a mighty God we serve hallelujah what a mighty God we serve and just come before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty God oh what a mighty God we serve hallelujah what a mighty God we serve just part before heaven and earth oh what a mighty god we serve oh what a mighty king we serve oh what a mighty king we serve and just part before heaven and earth yes what a mighty king we serve Sante Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sante Bwana. <laughs> The second thing Paul said. Jambo la pili Paulo alilosema. I know my believed. Najua niliyemwamini. But I don't just know. Lakini sijui tu. But beyond knowing. Lakini zaidi ya kujua. I am persuaded. Nimeshawishiwa. <laughs> If there were any questions lingering in my head kama kulikuwa na maswala yoyote yaliyobaki they have been taken care of yameondolewa if there were no answers in one area kama hakukuwa na jawabu 
sehemu fulani as i continue knowing him nilipoendelea kumjua i'm getting persuaded sasa nashawishiwa i am persuaded nimeshawishiwa hallelujah amina not by many arguments sio kwa maneno mengi not by debate sio kwa mjadala by knowing him kwa kumjua yeye i am persuaded nimeshawishiwa How are you persuaded? Je, umeshawishiwa kwa njia gani? And what way are you persuaded? Na kwa njia gani I am so persuaded. Nimeshawishiwa sana. That he is able. Kwamba yeye anaweza. He is able. Anaweza. He is able. Anaweza. His ability to do anything is not questionable. Uwezo wake wa kutenda lolote haliulizwi. Blind people saw him. Vipofu walimuona. Said Jesus, Jesus, have mercy. Wakasema Yesu, Yesu niurumie. He came there. Akaja pale. He said, "Do you believe that I'm able to do this?" Akauliza, "Je, unaamini naweza tenda hili?" Think of it. Do you believe Hebu that sikiria. I'm able? Je, unaamini? He didn't ask them, "How long have you been praying?" Hakuwauliza, "Umeomba miaka mingapi?" How long did you fast? Wewe unafunga muda gani? Do you believe that I am able? Je, unaamini naweza? They said, "Yes, Lord." Kasema, "Ndio Bwana." It's okay, receive your sight. Bas pata macho yako. And he walked away. Na anaondoka. Do you believe that he is able? Je, unaamini kwamba aweza? Are you persuaded that he is able? Umeshawishiwa kwamba aweza? Are you persuaded? Umeshawishiwa? That he is able? Kwamba anaweza? Then this is the one we believe in. Basi huyu ndiye tunayemwamini. And I'm persuaded. Na nimeshawishiwa. He is able. Anaweza to deal kufanya with any situation. Kushughulikia hali yote. Asante Yesu. He is able anaweza to deal kushughulikia any difficulty ngumu wowote he is able anaweza to deal kushughulikia any impossibility kusikowezekana kwa he is able anaweza to raise you kuinua wewe from the dead kutoka kwa watu is able anaweza to change nothing kubadilisha pokuru somebody kuwa tu Shadrach Meshach Shadrach and Abednego na Abednego You will go to the fire Mtaenda motoni Our God is able Mungu wetu anaweza I am fully persuaded Nimeshawishiwa kabisa He is able kwamba anaweza to heal that disease Kuponya maradhi hayo I am fully persuaded Nimeshawishiwa kabisa He is kabili. able anaweza to give me a miracle kukupa muujiza where money has been defeated Na pesa zimeshindwa Sante Yesu Sante Bwana Hallelujah Abraham Abraham Sarah will get a baby Sarah atapata mtoto And then Sarah laughed Kisha Sarah akacheka And then God said Mungu naye akasema Why did she laugh Kwa nini akacheka Is there anything too hard for the Lord Je kuna kitu kigumu sana kwa Bwana Anything too hard from the Lord Kitu kigumu sana kwa Bwana uh, Is there anything too hard Kuna lililo ligumu sana I am persuaded nimeshawishiwa that he is able kwamba aweza to take a fool like me kuchukua pumbavu kama mimi and change him na kumbadilisha make him a human being kumfanya awe binadamu I'm fully persuaded nimeshawishiwa that he is able kwamba anaweza to take a primary six failure kuchukua aliyeshindwa darasa la 6 and make him somebody na kumfanya awe mtu I'm fully persuaded nimeshawishiwa kabisa that he is able kwamba anaweza to deal with your economy jibilikia hali yako ya kusema anaweza amina 
Asante Bwana. But Paul, lakini Paulo, goes beyond that. Anaenda zaidi ya hapo. He is able to keep. Anaweza kuhifadhi. To keep kuhifadhi. Secure. Kulinda. Safe. Kuweka salama. Protect kulinda keeping there kuhifadhi means pane. protection ya maanisha ulinzi safety usalama security usalama preservation kuhifadhiwa to keep kuweka when people think you are rotting wakati watu wanafikiria unaoza he preserves you yeye anakuhifadhi Asante Bwana. Wastahili mfalme. When they write you off, wakati wanakuondosha. When they write you off, wakati wanakutupilia. He is able to keep you. Yeye anakuhifadhi. Hallelujah. Amina. He is able. Anaweza to keep kuhifadhi. To keep kuhifadhi. Asante Yesu. He feeds anawalisha the animals wanyama he feeds analisha the birds ndege he feeds analisha the fish samaki and he feeds na analisha the pia sinners wenye dhambi the sinners wenye dhambi he feeds them anawalisha i don't understand him mimi simuelewi when it comes to that ikifikia hapo i move back mimi naondoka he feeds them anawalisha When he comes to that ikifikia hapo I stand aside mimi nakaa kando he feeds them anawalisha but now with us lakini sasa kwetu he is sisi. able to keep anaweza kutuhifadhi not just us sio sisi tu but everything that belongs to us lakini vyote ambavyo ni vyetu He is able to keep your children. Anaweza kuhifadhi watoto wako. He is able to keep your marriage. Anaweza kuhifadhi ndoa yako. He is able to keep your business. Anaweza kuhifadhi biashara yako. He is able to keep your relationship. Anaweza kuhifadhi He is able to keep your body. Anaweza kuhifadhi He is able to keep your mind. Anaweza kuhifadhi na He is able to keep. Anaweza kuhifadhi. Asante Bwana. All he wants yote anayotaka is that we commit unto him ni kwamba tukajitoa kwake when the day of evil comes wakati siku ya uovu inapokuja we won't worry hatutafadhaika because that thing that is troubling us kwa sababu kile ambacho chatusumbua we committed it to him tulikiwekwa wakfu kwake it is no longer our responsibility sio jukumu letu tena it is his responsibility ni jukumu lake yeye he is able to keep anaweza kuhifadhi that which i committed unto him kile ambacho nilitoa kwake sante yesu commit your body wewe toa mwili wako commit your mind toa nia yako commit your money toa fedha zako commit your family toa jamii yako commit your life toa maisha yako commit everything you have toa vyote ulivyonavyo commitment means kutoa maana yake it is no longer in your hands haiko tena mikononi mwako listen to that hebu sikiza hayo commitment means kutoa maana yake wash your hands out Umeosha mikono yako kuhusu jambo hilo. The judge said, Hakimu anasema, This boy, huyu mvulana, has troubled me so much. Amenisumbua sana. Commit him to jail. Mtoe gerezani. That's when I heard that word first. Ndio siku nilisikia neno hilo mara ya kwanza. January. Mwezi wa kwanza mwaka 57. Commit him to jail. Mtoe gerezani. Not here. Sio hapa. But in Kwale. Lakini kule mji wa Kwale. It was Mombasa. Kwa mji wa Mombasa. Commit him to jail. Mtoe gerezani until hadi a report comes to me that he has actually reformed. Nipate habari ya kwamba amebadilika. Commit. Mtoe. <laughs> He is no longer in the hands of his father. 
hayupo tena mikononi ya baba yake but the hands of the prison warders lakini kwenye mikono ya walinda jela his fate his life his future depends on them maisha yake siku zote zake za usoni yamtegemea wao commit him to jail mtoe gerezani the judge says judge akasema commit him to where he has no right mtoe mahali ana haki he eats what he is given only anakula kile tu anapewa he wears what is given him anavaa alichopewa commit mtoe you people ninyi watu wash your hands out osheni mikono yenu muondoke concerning your life kuhusu maisha yenu wash your hands jitoeni off jitoeni commit your life to god toeni maisha yenu kwa mungu today leo hii is a day of commitment ni siku ya kujitoa That's what the Lord told me. Ndio Bwana akaniambia. Let them commit themselves to me. Acha wajitoe kwa and I will take care. Nami nitawashughulikia. That job. Kazi hiyo. Committed to God. Imetolewa kwa Mungu. That business. Biashara hiyo. Committed to God. Imetolewa kwa That marriage. Ndoa hiyo. Committed to God. Imetolewa kwa Your children. Watoto wako. Committed to God. Imetolewa kwa Mungu. And God is able. Naye Mungu anaweza. Asante Bwana. When you commit everything to him, unapotoa kila kitu kwake, you cease to fight. Wewe unaacha kungangana. He fights on your behalf. Yeye anakupigania. When you commit your life to him, ukitoa maisha yako kwake, you kwa cease to worry. Unaacha kufadhaika. Because he cares. Kwa sababu yeye anajali. Do you see how Peter uses the same word? Je, unaona jinsi Petero anatumia maneno yale yale? Commit jitoe your cares amen unto him toa shida zako kwake yeye that which is worrying you kile ambacho cha kusumbua commit it kitoe to the one who is able kwake yeye anayeweza hello that one which has kept you crying kile ambacho kimekufanya ulie transfer it kiondoe from your heart kihamishe kutoka kwa moyo wako kwako yeye it over to him mpatie yeye commit it kitoe to him kwake yeye the day that is designed siku ambayo imetengwa for your destruction kwa uharibifu kuangamizwa kwako will come kutakuja but that day lakini siku hiyo will discover itagundua that you you are absent kwamba haupatikani <laughs> why kwa nini? Because that which was designed to destroy you kwa sababu kile kilichopangwa kukuangamiza is being dealt with kinashughulikiwa by the owner of life na mwenye uhai. Hallelujah. Commit. Jiachilie. Surrender. Achilia. Totally kabisa wash your hands off toa mikono yako tell him this is not my life anymore mwambie hasi maisha yangu tena it is yours ni yako wewe you called me wewe uliniita i didn't call you sikukuita wewe you sought me and you found me wewe ulinitafuta ukanipata yourself ukanileta kwako now i commit myself sasa najiachilia kwako and everything that concerns me na kila kitu ambacho ni changu Young man, vijana, let me give you a testimony. Acheni niwape ushuhuda. June of 1959, mwezi wa sita mwaka wa 59, I was in Giriama country. Nilikuwa kwenye maeneo ya Wagiriama. I was so tired so I left I came to Mombasa. Nikawa nimechoka sana nikaondoka nikaja Mombasa. I went to the house I used to stay. Nikaenda kwenye nyumba nilikokuwa nikiishi. Which I left the caretaker of the church to to occupy ambaye nilimwachia mwenye alikuwa anashughulikia kanisa kuishi ndani i told him i've come here to pray nikamwambia nimerudi kuomba because in giriama i can't even pray kwa sababu kule giriama siwezi hata kuomba i wake up in the morning and there are more than 50 people waiting to be prayed for nikiamka asubuhi kuna watu 50 wananingojea kuwaombea and i was praying nilikuwa nikiomba with fasting 
na kim, pamoja na kufunga God visited me Mungu alinitembelea the third day siku ya tatu 12 noon saa sita mchana and he showed me my future na akanionyesha siku zangu za, za usoni he showed me today akanionyesha siku ya leo 1959 June mwezi wa sita mwaka wa 59 God showed me today Mungu alinionyesha leo hii How do you know Je unajuaje Ask the Reverend Mlate will tell you how he knows these things Uliza kasisi Mlate atakwambia jinsi anavyojua mambo haya He heard at Kariako Alisikia pale Kariako Something is happening kuna kitu kinatendeka. And he had come from Bible school. Na alikuwa ametoka kwenye chuo cha Biblia. So he brought some young people to Kariako to see this thing. Basi akawaleta vijana wenzake kule Kariako kuona hiki kitu. He sat there. Akaketi pale. And listened. Akasikiza. And so. Na akaona. And na, na, God showed him. Mungu naye akamwonyesha. In 1972. Mwaka wa 72. This day. Siku ya leo. Amen. You know I'm right. Then I was saying basi nilikuwa nikisema here hapa that when God talks Mungu anapozungumza He talks to you alone anakuzungumzia wewe binafsi alone peke yako and when Mlatia took that naye kasisi Mlatia akachukua hiyo then he told me naye akaniambia on telephone kwa simu he said akasema he has spoken amenena after 12 years baada ya miaka 12 he had questions that lingered for 12 years alikuwa na maswala kwa muda wa miaka 12 and god waited mungu naye akasubiri until mulatia was in the right position to hear hadi mulatia alikuwa mahali panapofaa kusikia if god can find you in the right position to hear kama mungu anaweza kupata mahali panapofaa kusikia you don't have to wait for 12 years hautasubiri miaka 12 this is a complex situation yake ilikuwa ni hali ngumu You can rule all those years now. Miaka hiyo yote unaweza kuimaliza sasa. And say Jesus. Sema Yesu. Answer now. Nijibu sasa. You see this is not just come get prayed for get blessing. Waona hii sio njoo uombe upate baraka. No. Hapana. This is not kwenda ufanywe maombi. Hapana. Hello. Are you hearing me? Yes. This is not kuja ufanywe maombi. Ah 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 njoo uombewe. Hapana. Hii si kuombewa. Utaombewa. Wala unao kuombea hawajui mahitaji yako. Hawajui pain yako. Hawajui machozi yako. Hawajui uchungu nao sikia. Hawajui. Waumbili hawaelewi. Wewe ndiye unajua peke yako. Amina. Jesus is able. Yesu anaweza. To keep everything I commit to him. Uhifadhi yote ninayompa. Now instead of saying I commit this and I commit that. Badala ya kusema natoa hiki na kile, I say nasema I commit myself. Najitoa mimi mwenyewe. And everything everything that evolves around me na kila kitu kinachonizunguka concerning me kinachonihusu mimi will be dealt with kitashughulikiwa pia it is me he wants ni mimi anayetaka it is not just the needs i have sio tu mahitaji niliona when he deals with me anaponishughulikia mimi now let me close this sasa acha nifunge hii i'm not sure i will close <laughs> sina uhakika nitaweza kufunga Jacob ran away from home. Yakobo akakimbia kutoka nyumbani. Blessed. Akiwa amebarikiwa. But running. Lakini anatoroka. Watch me now. Hebu nitazame. Jacob inherited the inheritance of Abraham through his father Isaac. Ak- He inherited. Akaridhi the inheritance baraka of his grandfather. Ya babu yake, Abraham kupitia baba yake Isau Isau naye was left home akabaki nyumbani rich akiwa tajiri 
I know you heard that. All the property of Isaac, mali yote ya Isaka, the cows, wanyama, the workers, wafanyikazi, everything belonged to Esau. Kila kitu kikawa ni cha Isao. Jacob had nothing. Yakobo hakuwa na chochote. Only a stick. Alitoka tu na mti. A staff. Na fimbo. When he tired, ambaye akichoka, it could help in the wilderness. Itamsaidia kutembea jangwani. Sante bwana. Blessed amebarikiwa by the father na baba yake but running away lakini anatoroka having nothing asiyokuwa na chochote nothing You may think that you have nothing yawezekana ufikirie kwamba hauna chochote but make sure you are the blessed one lakini hakikisha wewe ndiye uliyebarikiwa Blessed. Barikiwa. But running. Lakini atoroka. Having no home. Ukiwa hana nyumba. Having no permanent address. Akiwa hana mahali pa kudumu. Having nowhere to stay. Akiwa hana mahali pa kulala. But blessed. Lakini amebarikiwa. No husband. Hamna mume. But blessed. Nimebarikiwa. No wife. Hakuna mke. But blessed. Amebarikiwa. No child. Hakuna mtoto. But blessed. Nimebarikiwa. I have never seen a million shillings. Sijawaiona shilingi milioni. But blessed. Lakini nimebarikiwa. Hallelujah. Amina. Asante bwana. As he was running to Syria alipokuwa akikimbilia Syria to his uncle kwa mjomba wake Laban Labani Jacob Yakobo was caught up at night akapatikana usiku he was so tired alikuwa amechoka sana he slept out akalala nje when he looked for what to make a pillow Alipoangalia kitu cha kuwekelea kichwa the nearest thing was a stone Kitu angeweza kupata ilikuwa ni jiwe A stone jiwe How can a stone give you comfort at night Yawezekana aje jiwe likakupa starehe usiku But it was when he put his head on that stone Lakini ilikuwa ni wakati alipoweka kichwa chake jiwe But he saw heaven open Kwamba alipoona mbingu ikifunguka Hello. And in that vision, na katika haya maoni, he saw his future. Akaona siku zake zijazo. Hallelujah. Angels descending, malaika wakishuka, others are standing on a ladder. Wengine wanapanda juu ya ngazi. On the most uncomfortable pillow. Mahali ambapo kwa pilo ambayo haina starehe hata kidogo. Your pillow may be so hard. Yawezekana pillow yako ni ngumu sana. You lay your head there. Unawekelea kichwa chako pale. And the sleep does not come because of trouble. Na usingizi hauji kwa sababu ya shida. Be careful. Kaa chonjo. Because God has set you up. Kwa sababu Mungu amekuweka tayari. To show you your future. Kukuonyesha siku zako zijazo. After He bled Laban dry. <laughs> Baada ya kumnyang'anya Labani vyote. Kupora eh? After he bled Laban dry. Baada ya kumlagai Labani vyote. Hello. Without effort. Bila kung'ang'ana. He changed his salary 10 times. Alibadilisha mshahara wake miaka 10. To keep him down. Ili kumfinyilia. But But, but lakini you can't keep the blessed one down all the time hauwezi kumweka aliyebarikiwa chini kila wakati god will make sure you live mungu atahakikisha utaishi to see him thrive 
Huona akina wiri. Those who have tried to keep you low. Wale wale wajaribu kukanyagia chini. They will not die. Hawata kufa until they see you thrive. Hadi waone ukina wiri. He became so rich. Akawa tajiri sana. But lakini he left. Akaondoka. He had to leave. Alimbidi aondoke. Because you can't comfortably stay in a foreign land with the blessing of God. Kwa sababu hauwezi kukaa kwa nchi geni kwa starehe ukiwa na baraka ya Mungu. And many of you are so blessed. Wengi wenu umebarikiwa sana. But you are like in a foreign land. Lakini ni kama mko katika nchi ya kigeni. Today is a day of returning home. Leo ni siku ya kurejea nyumbani. To the presence of God. Kwenye uwepo wa Mungu. To the presence of God. Kwenye uwepo wa Mungu. Return home. Rudi nyumbani. But now hear this. Lakini sikia haya. Jacob knew. Yakobo akajua. If he faced his brother Esau the way he was, akikabiliana na ndugu yake Esau jinsi alivyokuwa, disaster. Bala. Because his brother was a fighter. Kwa sababu ndugu yake alikuwa mpiganaji. And he had 400 fighters. Na alikuwa na wapiganaji 400. He got word he is coming. Akapata neno ujumbe anakuja. He knew Laban was pursuing Alijua huku nyuma Labani anamfuata. He can't go back. Hawezi rudi nyuma. He can't go forward. Hawezi kwenda mbele. Blessed. Amebarikiwa. But beleaguered in between. Lakini amekwama katikati. Many of you are like that now. Wengi wenu mko hivyo sasa. I know some of you are like that. Najua wengi wenu wengine wenu mko hivyo. And you know that this prophet is true. Unajua huyu nabii anasema ukweli. Let me show you what to do. Acha nikuonyeshe cha kufanya. What Jacob did. Kile Yakobo alichofanya. You know what he did? Wajua alifanya nini? Jacob, Yakobo took his two wives across the river. Akachukua wake wake wawili wakavuka mto. That river that is dividing between you. Ule mto ambao unakugawanya kati yako. That you cross. Ambao lazima uvuke. Leave everything on the other side. Acha mambo yote upande mmoja. Cross it. Uvuke that river of unbelief. Ule mto wa kutoamini. Cross it. Uvuke. Stay alone. Ka peke yako. Alone. Peke yako. Don't bring your wife. Usimlete mke wako. Don't bring your husband. Usimlete mume wako. Don't bring your boyfriend. Usimlete rafiki yako. Don't bring your girlfriend. Ama wakika alone. Jo peke yako. Then Jacob said, Kisha akasema, change me. Nibadilishe. Not bless me. Sili bariki. Do what? Badilishe. He is blessed. Amebarikiwa. With the two wives. Wake wawili. With uncountable cows. Ngombe wasioweza kuhesabika. The workers. Wafanyikazi. Imagine even the gods of Laban were stolen. Hata miungu wa Labani nao walikuwa naye. So he was might he was really blessed. Kwa hivyo alikuwa amebarikiwa sana. But now, lakini sasa blessed. Amebarikiwa. But afraid to live. Lakini anaogopa kuishi. Blessed. Amebarikiwa. But afraid can't enjoy. Uwezi kufurahia. You and I. Wewe nami. God is calling us. Mungu anatuita. To commit ourselves to him. Kujitoa wenyewe kwake. He had a prayer. Alikuwa naombi. Holding that stick. Akishika ile fimbo. Change me. Nibadilishe. God of Abraham my grandfather. Mungu wa Abrahamu babu yangu. I know you are seeing me. Najua unaniona. You visited me when I was coming this way. Ulinitembelea nilipokuwa nikija hivi. Now, sasa change me. Nibadilishe. I commit myself to you. Najitoa kwako. Change me. Nibadilishe. Is not add me more wives. Sio niongeze wake zaidi. Add me more cows. Niongeze ngombe zaidi. No. Hapana. It is me. Ni mimi. It is not my things. Sio vitu vyangu. It is me. Ni mimi. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not add me more money. Sio niongeze pesa zaidi. Money without a change is no use. Pesa pasipo mabadiliko hazina kazi. God change you. Acha Mungu akubadilishe wewe. 
change me nibadilishe change me and when the angel came to change him na wakati malaika alipokuja he didn't only change his character hakubadilisha tu tabia yake he even changed his name alibadilisha hata na jina lake even his name hata na jina lake <laughs> jacob jacob means the supplanter ya maanisha mdanganyi a man who gets things without effort although he didn't work for them mtu ambaye anapata vitu bila kuvifanyia kazi mulagai eh mulagai mkono mrefu mkono mrefu huyo alikuwa anapata vitu tu akifanyia kazi anachukua kama hii blessing akifanyia kazi alichukua he said akasema you are no longer jacob sasa wewe sio yakobo tena from today toka leo call yourself israel wewe jiite israeli today we have israel leo tunayo israeli that name was not from down it was from the angel hilo jina halikutoka kwa serikali ilitoka kwa malaika that's why you can't defeat israel and wipe them out ndio sababu uwezi kuwashinda ukawaondosha you can't wipe the physical israel out hauwezi ondosha israeli ya kimwili you can't hauwezi hitler tried hitler akajaribu he died akafa israel is going on israeli inaendelea the arabs are trying waarabu wanajaribu from every area kutoka maeneo yote lebanon lebanon egypt Syria, Syria they have tried wamejaribu with their superior armies na majeshi yao yaliyo na nguvu zaidi Israel is still there lakini Israeli ngali iko why kwa nini because that name originates in heaven kwa sababu jina hilo chanzo chake ni mbinguni When finally Jacob was changed wakati mwisho wa Yakobo akabadilishwa hallelujah When his commitment was answered wakati kujitoa kwake kulijibiwa he said alisema Esau you can now come Esau sasa unaweza kuja Laban Laban quickly come meet me Arakisha njoo upesi From this meeting kutoka kwa mkutano from this service kutoka kwa ibada hii this holy service kutoka kwa ibada hii from this place kutoka mahali hapo from this time kutoka wakati huu you are going to stand out there wewe utasimama pale nje and say problems na useme shida come jo opposition upingamizi come jo because i am a changed person kwa sababu mimi ni mtu aliyebadilishwa I am no longer the running Jacob. Mimi si yule Yakobo aliyekuwa Israel. Mimi ni Israel. Hallelujah. Amina. I'm no longer the coward. Mimi si yule mwoga. No longer the fearful one. Mimi si yule mwenye uoga. I am changed. Mimi nimebadilishwa. Why? Kwa nini? Because he committed his life kwa sababu akatoa maisha yake to God who is able kwa Mungu aliye na uwezo from this meeting kutoka kwa mkutano huu you are walking out there unaondoka pale nje like Jacob kama Yakobo and you are going to say utasema boss you hate me tajiri unanichukia but you are meeting somebody different lakini unakutana na mtu tofauti no money Hakuna pesa. But changed. Lakini amebadilika. No property. Hakuna mali. But changed. Lakini amebadilika. No friends. Hakuna marafiki. But changed. Lakini amebadilika. Satan you can come. Shetani waweza kuja. But you will not find the same man. Lakini utamkuta yule yule. You will find a changed woman. Utamkuta mwanamke. Hallelujah. Commit your life to maisha yako. To him. Kwake yeye. Let him change you. Acha kubadilishe and the circumstances don't have to change. Nazo hali sio lazima zibadilike. Is you who must change. Ni wewe ndiye lazima ubadilike. He is able. Anaweza to change you. Kukubadilisha wewe. Now, sasa I'm going to command you not ask you Nita nitakuamurisha sio kusema I'm not going to beg you. Sio sitakubembeleza. Brother it is your life. 
ni maisha yako i have shown you the answer to life nimekuonyesha jawabu ya maisha i have shown you the answer to your future nimekuonyesha jawabu ya siku zako now it's up to you sasa ni juu yako wewe to lift up your voice kuinua sauti yako like jacob did kama yakobo alipofanya and pray only one prayer na uombe ombi moja tu i commit myself na jitatoa maisha yangu unto you lord kwako wewe bwana change me nibadilishe i commit myself na jitoa bwana unto you lord kwako wewe bwana change me nibadilishe i commit myself na jitoa every voice kila sauti every voice kila sauti every mouth open kila kinywa kikifunguliwa every voice kila sauti go ahead endelea This is your life. Haya ni maisha yako. Every voice. Kila sauti speak to God. Sema kwa Mungu. This is your life. Hii ni maisha yako. Go on, go on, go. Take your time. Speak to God. Tell him to change you. Commit your life. Toa maisha yako. Your life. Toa maisha yako. Commit your life. Toa maisha yako. King of the universe. King of the universe. Everybody hearing my voice. Kila mtu anayesikia sauti yako. Commit your life. Toa maisha yako. Commit your life. Toa maisha yako.